personally not very happy with the name non-violent communication because it, it tends to hint that it is only about communication and that it's like a communication model. And for me, in my experience, it is way more than that. It's approach to life, it's the way to live life. In my understanding, nonviolent communication has three main pillars. One pillar is, has to do with self-expression. So it's exploration, how can I fully express what is alive in me? How can I fully express it so that I'm not holding myself back, I'm not being nice, I'm not being polite, but I'm really fully expressing myself. However, to do it in a way that it is possible for the other people to hear it. Otherwise, because if I express myself in a way that makes it impossible or very difficult for you to hear it, I am not meeting my goal of connecting with other people. So it's about honest self-expression in a way that will make it possible for other people to hear or to connect to what's actually happening in me. The other part, the second part is, how can I hear what is happening in you? Even though your words may not be perfect, even though you are maybe enraged or you shut down in pain or you are not using honest language. Or, so how can I still connect with you so that I can understand, I can come in touch with what has been happening in you. And this way, I can slowly, step by step, create a connection. And for me, when I create a connection with, with you or with another person, that's the, the very basis which will enable us to start figuring out together how we can coexist so that it will work out for everybody. The third, maybe even the most important part of nonviolent communication is creating self-connection. Uh, self-connection means um, establishing a language with myself that goes beyond the language that I was trained into using. Because we were trained through socialization to use the language of um, um, evaluating ourselves or labeling ours, oh, I'm such a failure, I'm so stupid, I shouldn't be doing this, I should be doing that, punishing ourselves and demanding from ourselves and so forth. And it's a life alienating language, the language with which I'm making distinctions in me, I'm kind of a suffocating life in me. So one of the core three things in, in nonviolent communication for me is how can I also establish a language, a relationship with myself that's going to embrace the whole of me rather than just figure out which is the good Robert, the right, the correct Robert, and then deny the rest. So it's really about creating a connection, self-connection and connection with other. And in this way, trying to learn to live life that will consider the whole. And it's not going to be a life of separation, but rather life of, of connection it will bring eventually to inner fulfillment, inner peace and also fulfillment and peace in relationship with, with others and with life. Mm. So that's the essence for me. Mm.